Remember when Haskell was the chosen one? The real programmer's language, the thing every smug engineer on Hacker News swore would dominate the future. Fast forward to 2025. Good luck finding anyone using it outside of a dusty research lab. Haskell was never built for the messy, chaotic, get-it-done world of modern software. Developers don't want to spend three days wrestling with type errors to build a simple web form. Meanwhile, companies are shipping products at speed, in Python, Go, Rust, even TypeScript. You know what Haskell gave us? Stack overflows full of unsolved cryptic errors and a community more obsessed with theory than building things people actually use. The reason Haskell lost isn't because it's bad. In fact, it's brilliant, too brilliant. It's the language equivalent of a luxury concept car, gorgeous on paper, impossible to mass produce. The ecosystem never caught up. Hiring was a nightmare. And let's be honest, startups don't want to roll the dice on a language where their only hire is that one PhD student who quotes monads at parties. And if you're enjoying this right now, hit subscribe and boop the like button to help the channel grow. Haskell quietly got pushed out by practical alternatives. Rust stole the spotlight with strong typing and performance. Elixir and Go won the web crowd by being easier to hire for. Even TypeScript ate its lunch by making functional programming mainstream without making developers feel like they needed a PhD to write a loop. Companies ditched Haskell because they want teams that ship code, not dissertations. Haskell didn't disappear, it just became the Latin of programming languages, respected, studied, but dead in the real world. The lesson? In 2025, practicality beats purity, every single time.